Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to use the configuration profiles in Quarkus. In the first part, we are going to use the application.properties file. In the second part of this video, we are going to use the application.yaml file. Let's start. First of all, let's create a new Quarkus project. Let me put here the group the artifact ID. Very good. Click on next. Here I'm going to select the dependency RSTZJXRS, RSTZJX. In the data panel, I'm going to select JDBC driver for PostgreSQL, JDBC driver H2, then the database connection pool, and finally the Hibernate ORM with Panache, and then click on next. And finally, we can click on finish. This is my project. I have, of course, my example resource. It's a simple REST endpoint that sends back the string hello REST easy. Inside the resource folder, I have application properties file. Now it's empty, of course. And then the example resource test inside the test folder. Very good. Now open, now open the terminal and run a project in development mode. So type m1 compile Quarkus dev. Our server is up and running, and you can see here is listed on a port 8080. Now I want to change the port, so let's go back inside the code, open the application.property file, and here let's, the, let's put the properties quarkus.http.port and changing from 8080 to 881. Now let's go back inside the terminal, let's stop the server and run it again in development mode. And here you can see that the port now it's 8080. Very good. Now I want to use also the database. In my case, I use the image uh, of Postgres with uh, the image of Docker with Postgres. And here I'm going to put the, all the properties for the database. Of course, the data source DB kind Postgres, the Quarkus data source for the username, of course, the, the password. And then the Quarkus JDBC URL, JDBC, Postgres, localhost, and then the name of the database, in my case, MyDB. Last but not least, I want also to add the properties for the database generation. So Quarkus, Hibernate ORM, database generation, I'm going to put drop and create same file now i can use the profile so let me just here change the port from 8081 to 8080 and this one will be the default port http port and now i'm going to use the profile for dev so we need to add percentage dev dot quarkus dot http dot port i'm going to put 881 and this one will be the configuration only for development mode Let's put also, for example, the log level. So again, percentage dev dot quarkus dot log dot console level. It's going to put all. And for the default, I'm going to use the same configuration, the same properties, but the level will be not all, but info, for example. In the same way, I can use the profile test. So again, percentage test. And here I'm going to put all the properties related only for the test profile. In this case, the port, I'm going to put, for example, 1990. And then I'm going to put a different console level. For the for test, I'm going to put, for example, debug. And of course, in the same way, I can write a different configuration for the database.
copy all this part put it there and then we can add the um, profile percentage test to all these properties of course these properties are equal you can change it with not postgres but for example h2 database Now let's open again the terminal, let's stop the server and again what we can do here we can compile our project so I'm when compile Quarkus dev and here you can see the port it's 8081 not 8080 because we put inside the application.properties the profile percentage dev .http port but let's try it so let's type curl http slash slash localhost um, port 8081 slash hello and of course we receive hello rest easy so it's working to just show you another uh, property that you can use for your test will be the http uh, access log uh, file so in this case instead of false i'm going to put true when we are going to use the test profile you will see all http tests in the same way we can add have the profile for the production and in this case i'm going to use for example the package type because for production I want to use the uber jar very good you can see here the default one the profile for dev for test and production change the port for dev 8082 again we can go back inside the terminal and we can compile our project so type m1 clean compile package Very good if we go inside the folder target we can see our uber jar quarkus profile uh, runner.jar so let's run it java minus jar quarkus profile runner.jar very good and here you can see the port 8080 so we'll take the def default uh, configuration port so let's try it port 8080 slash hello good is working now i want to use the profile for dev in this case we need to type java then minus d quarkus dot profile we need to specify the profile so equal dev and then minus jar in the name of the jar quarkus profiles runner dot jar very good now you can see the port is not 8080 but 8082 because we specified for the dev port good and let's do the same for the test so again instead of minus d quarkus dot profile dev we need to type minus d quarkus dot profile equal test and let's wait very good now again the port is 8080 because we didn't specify a port for the test but you can see here that I will, I will call again the endpoint we can see here the log for the HTTP because we enable the HTTP log Quarkus HTTP access log enable true very good now I want to show you another thing so let's go inside the example resource and instead of send back a general message hello rest easy I want to send back a specific message so I'm going to create a new configuration property with the type string I'm going to call it a message and of course the name of this configuration will be for example um, hello dot message and of course I'm going to use these uh, properties inside my hello rest endpoint 
So return message. Very good. Now we need to specify these properties inside our application.properties file. And I'm going to put different value to show you exactly uh, the configuration profile. So here I need to put the name of the properties. So hello.message. And this one will be the default value. So I'm going to put like hello default message. Then I'm going to put a specific message for the dev profile. So percentage dev dot hello message. In this case, I'm going to put hello um, dev message, for example. Very good. And uh, with, the same, uh, with the same logic, I'm going to put the same for the test. So percentage test dot hello dot message equal hello test message, for example. Very good. Then let's go inside the terminal let's stop the server let's compile it again so m1 compile pack quarkus dev to run it in development mode very good the port is t82 so let's go inside the curl and let's call it the endpoint slash hello and here you can see the message hello dev message because of course we specified the dev configuration because we used the we run the project development mode now let's stop the server let's compile m1 clean compile package Of course, in this case, the billiard failures because we have a problem with the test because now it's not anymore hello rest easy, but it's hello test message. So inside the body here, we need to change the test. So it's not hello rest easy, but it's hello test message because we specify for the test profile the, um, the string hello test message. Very good. As you can see, expected and actual. So again, let's type and when a clean compile package very good now we don't have any kind of error again let's go inside the target folder And let's run the project uh, so jar minus jar quarkus profile in this case we run the project uh, with the production configuration so the port is 8080 let's go inside the curl here localhost 8080 slash hello and we receive the hello default message because for the production profile for the prod profile we didn't specify a specific message very good in the second part of this video, I'm going to use the application YAML. So the first thing to do is to go inside the pomxml file and add the dependency for YAML. Of course, Quarkus config YAML. Very good. Now let me rename the application properties to application.properties.old, for example. And let me add the file application.yaml. Good. Now let me just uh, split the, um, the screen. Okay, very good. So now we need to translate all the properties that we put inside application properties inside application YAML. So Quarkus, HTTP, the port, 8080, then the data source with the DDP kind the username, of course, the password, the JDBC URL. Let me just copy here. Good. Put there. Very good. The Hibernate database generation, of course. And the log console level so log console 
level info and of course our custom properties so hello dot message in this case hello and then message i'm going to put hello default message very good now let's put also the properties for the dev so for the profile dev in this case we need to put quote and then percentage dev and then of course the properties for the dev quarkus http port uh, 8082 and then and then the properties for the test so again let's type percentage test and then i'm going just to put the quarkus I forgot to put the hello.message instead of the dev. Okay, hello dev message, very good. And for the test, I'm going to put only the properties um, Quarkus e TCP access log enabled true. Very good. And of course, my custom properties hello message with the value hello with the value hello test message very good now we need to write the properties for the profile production so percentage prod again quarkus in this case we need to put the package type so type package type and of course uber jar in the same way here i'm going to put a specific uh, value for my properties hello message in this case i'm going to put hello prod message very good now my application yaml is good oh i forgot to put here of course port with the value 8080 very good and now we are ready so I have the default configuration, I have the configuration for dev profile, for the test profile, and of course for prod profile. So let's go inside the terminal. Let's and let's type mwen, mwen clean compile package. very good and now let's run it so let's go inside of course target we have our uber jar and let's type java minus jar quarkus profiles runner.jar very good our server is up and running listen report 88 let's try it so curl http localhost 88 slash hello and we received the message hello prod message because we run the project with production um, profile the source code of this video you can find it inside my github repository inside the project quarkus profiles feel free to clone it and thank you for watching this video i hope you like it if you have any question or doubts don't hesitate to write me you can find me on twitter linkedin instagram and see you in the next video about quarkus bye